And now it's time for a struggle challenge. I've got limited funds and an iron. What can I make? When I think of an iron, immediately I think of a panini press. So you can definitely press a sandwich. As far as limited funds go, uh, how, how little are we talking about? And what food do you have? Let's find out. No food. The answer is no food. There's no food. Three bones, tin foil, and an iron. Um, all right, so I don't have any food, but I have money. Money buys food. Um, and we've got this, which is a press, and we can wrap whatever we make in foil. We're leaving the struggle kitchen. We're going to the market, and we're seeing how far we can stretch these three dollars. Come on. All right, I got three dollars. Let's see what we can do in this store. Let's see what we got in the bread department. 375, can't afford it. Four dollars over here. This is still outside. Man, if there were a way to just like have a slice or two, that would be great. But here we are in the cheese aisle. Let's take a look. These are big blocks. Anything pre-sliced? These are all fancy cheeses, forget it. So what about sliced meats? Here they are. We got the turkey, we got the ham. Uh, the problem is the prices, they're too high. You know, it hasn't really occurred to me till now how efficient we are with money on this show. Holy smokes. How you doing? Hey, good, how are you? I'm looking to spend like under $2 on some sliced meat and cheese. Okay. All right, okay, so the most affordable stuff's down here? Yeah. Let's see what like, Two, let's see what three slices looks like. Three slices? Yeah, okay. please. <laughs> How's that? I think it's beautiful. Okay. I think it's beautiful. Buck 43, okay, that's almost 50% of my budget. I think I'm gonna get the rest at the salad bar. All right, here you go. Rock and roll, elbow bound. <laughs> Still very much having a problem with the bread situation. Uh, so now I'm looking at pastries and bagels. This could be good. We got $1.25 for a bagel. We could do a bagel sandwich. I'm just gonna go classic sesame. 268 I'm at. So I can get 32 cents more of stuff. Maybe a couple shreds of Parmesan cheese? How about some spinach or arugula or something? All right. Hi, how are you? I'm well. Great. I'm hoping this is under $3. Well, I hope so too. 125 and 143 And here it is, the moment of truth. Let's go, right here. 30 cents. Your total is 298 I did it. You made my day, Renee. You Two ninety-eight. Oh my God, this is amazing. One, two, three. three. Boom. And you get two cents back at ya. All right, we've got our turkey, our cheese, our bagel, and an extra two cents. Pretty pumped about that. Can save that money for later. A quick recap, the bagel was expensive, the turkey was expensive, almost my entire budget was completely exhausted, uh, so all I had left was for very, very light ingredients at the salad bar. When I went with the spinach and cheese, I was hoping that the total weight would be lighter than the flap of a butterfly's wings. And I was right, so extra flavor is gonna have to happen in the form of packet drawer, mustard mayo, and butter. That's it. All right, here we are, classic dorm room preparation. We've got the bagel. Since we only have a tiny bit of turkey and even less cheese, we gotta get some moisture in there. So I'm throwing in some mayo. Coming in with the turkey. I'm thinking I'll put the spinach first and then the cheese on top of that so the cheese can melt over the spinach and kind of glue it in place. Getting some mustard on the other side. Oh, look at that. Divine. Bagel top going on. Back in the mid 90s when I would start my school day off with a TBB with B, toasted butter bagel with bacon, the outside of the bagel always was buttered. So we're gonna do that today. When you put things like butter on the outside of a bagel, it actually helps heat transfer. Nice and tight, coming under, coming under. Here we go. Oh yes. I'm gonna put on the piggy timer. Time to flip it. All right, the moment of truth. Here we go, the moment. Da -da -da. Ba -da -ba. Oh, beautiful, really nice. Hey, hey, hey. Let's cut this in half. All right, it's a pretty nice looking sandwich for $2.98. Let's take a bite. It's pretty good, it's not bad. I'm into it. 
The bagel is tasty. The butter on the outside with the toasted sesame, very, very nice. And I made it without a kitchen. I used a freaking iron. I mean, you know, how high can the expectations be? So on looks, I, I would say it's like a nine out of 10 on looks. And flavor, I'm gonna give it, uh, let's go with like a seven out of 10. I wish I had a little more budget for more accoutrement. I didn't have it. It's not the end of the world. The package drawer saved us there. But overall, this comes to a 16 out of 20, which is, uh, 80%. So I think this challenge was really great. No kitchen, small budget. Can we make something? The answer is yes. There's really only three parts to this. Vehicle, bread, passenger, some kind of meat, and then baggage, depending on how much money you have left over. You can do it. Be inventive. Have fun. Struggle on.